Published 1355 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of January the 2018. Updated 524 Eastern Standard Time, the 8th of January 2018. The FA Cup has been kind to Arsene Wenger during these difficult years of Premier League underachievement and European in consequence. Three times in four seasons the famous piece of silverware has provided something of a balm to the hurt inflicted in the major competitions. So quite why Wenger would effectively dismiss the trophy now is curious in the extreme. Arsene Wenger's was forced to watch from the stands as Arsenal suffered a shock FA Cup exit was always going to make changes at Nottingham Forest. That was evident as his complaints about fixture congestion began to stack up like an ever-ending Jenga tower. But the side Wenger picked at the city ground served only to invite trouble, a collection of young players and squad members that were no match for a vibrant championship side out to prove a point following the sacking of Mark Warburton. Those without regular games in the legs looked too rusty, those experiencing the start of a senior career too green. Then there was nobody of genuine substance on the bench who could be sent on to perform a rescue act. Wenger tends to treat this stage as an opportunity to rotate but each of his sides from previous winning campaigns bore greater comparison to his typical first team. The Gunners were passengers against Nottingham Forest and were outplayed throughout in 2014 Arsenal hosted Tottenham in the third round so it was pretty much full strength. In the fourth round at home to Coventry, Mays Terzel, Laurent Koscielny, and Jack Wilshere all started in a 4-0 romp. In 2015 at home to Hull it was a strong side of senior players. Alexis Sanchez, Hector Bellerin, and Tomas Rosicki all began the game. Last season, in a fixture of similar risk away to Preston, Aaron Ramsey, Granite Jacker, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain all started. It still required a last-minute winner from Olivier Giroud but Wenger did not learn. Here, there was no late surge to victory. Forrest needed to be right at their high-energy game but Wenger's selection played to their advantage. Wenger cannot complain about the result, having fielded a side too weak to threaten force. Pemert Saka looked as leaden-footed as we have seen him, Rob holding drastically short on confidence, while Machu Debushi appeared a pale imitation of the player signed in 2014. Up against 18-year-old Ben Breton they were consistently found wanting for pace. Breton was a constant menace in his preferred centre-forward role, holding up play intelligently to relieve pressure, finding the channels, and repeatedly running in behind to get on the end of chances. He could have scored at least twice before finally netting confidently from the penalty spot. German defender Pemertesacker was lacking the pace he is so often exposed for Forrest's 18-year-old striker Ben Breton tormented the Gunners. Backline throughout the O'Walcott put on a display that may put off any potential buyers in the January window in attack Arsenal kept possession as ever but failed to do much by way of penetration. If the O'Walcott is playing for a move away this was not the way to go about it, while Mohamed Elneny was too much of a passenger in midfield. It was left to the younger players of Reese Nelson, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, and Chris Willock to demonstrate fight but they lacked the quality to cut through Forrest and anyway Arsenal never looked a cohesive enough team. Ainsley Maitland-Niles demonstrated his fight but lacked the quality to cut through Forrest against other opponents they might have got away with it. But Gary Brazil knows this squad and as a caretaker manager tends to generate positive results. He organised his side well and knew how to hurt Arsenal. Wenger was left to survey the scenes from the stands, subjected to taunts from nearby Forrest fans who suggested he should sit down when complaining about one of the refereeing decisions. He can have no complaints. It was his call to field such a weak inside that led to this humbling result. Sunday's defeat could see them wave goodbye to a competition that has been kind to them.